Okay, I'm going to show you how I program my Alinko DR135 MK3 VHF uh, transmitter. Right now it's in memory mode. Okay, so if I turn the dial up, it'll go to the different program frequencies. What I want to do is I want to put it in VFO mode. So I'm going to hit the V and the M button down here. When I do that, there should be nothing left down in here. Everything should disappear and you should only have your frequency. Now what I'm going to do is either I'm going to use the dial and I'm going to dial to the frequency that I want, but that's going to take a little while. But I'm going to program it to the frequency of my gateway. Okay, so I'm going to punch in one, four, five. Oop, let's try it again. One, four, five, zero, seven, zero. Okay, that's there. Now what we're going to do is I want this programmed as my call memory button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit function and I'm going to scroll turn the dial until I hit the area that I want, and then I'm gonna hit uh, memory. Oh, I lost it, so I didn't do it, oh darn. So what do we do? We're gonna hit function, and then we're gonna hit memory right, or MW. And you can see, when I say MW, it's this little, uh, it says MW right above here, but you're basically gonna hit this button. But whenever you hit the function key, it activates this top row of text. So, once again, in order to lock it in, we're going to hit function and then memory write or MW. Okay. Now, to check if that happened correctly, what we're going to do is we're going to dial away and we're going to hit the call button. And you can see C came up for call and the frequency that I wanted. Now, it just so happens, if, if that's all that you wanted to learn, go ahead and stop the video. But I want to put it in data mode and also save it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit function. Oh, sorry, we're gonna get out, we're gonna get back into VFO mode. So we're gonna get back into VFO mode. I'm gonna punch in the frequency that I want. One, four, five, zero, seven, zero. So that's in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the function key and I'm gonna hit the squelch key down here, but it's actually gonna be turning it into digital mode. And that turned on the waveform right there. So let's do that again. We can turn it on or off. So we're gonna hit function, and then we're gonna hit the, di the squelch key, which is actually the digital key, and that turned it off. Function, and once again, we have the waveform up there. That puts it in digital mode. Now what we're gonna do in order to save that um, as our call frequency in memory, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit function and it's going to be we may have to rotate our dial right so but we're going to go to function and then we're going to go to call and then we're going to hit memory right so once again we're going to hit function and memory right to save it now to check that we're going to scan away from it we're going to spin the dial away and then what we're going to do is hit our call button and we can see that we're it says call and we're in data mode. The good thing about this, once we put it into call mode, we can't we can't change the we can't change the frequency without getting it out. Now, if we want to get it out, we would just hit the v, uh, VFO, uh, put it back into VFO mode. But let's say we need to get back to the the call frequency. Boom, we're back in. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, all the best. Aloha and seventy three from Kilo Hotel Six, Mike Lima.